Steve here, hope you're doing well. If you're new to the channel, then welcome. Uh, I was motivated to make this video because yesterday I was watching uh, a Tosin Abasi video on his selective picking technique. And I was watching this video after I watched the uh, interview that uh, Tosin did with uh, Rick Beato. And um, yeah, I was just fascinated by this technique. So I watched this video. <laughs> And you know, I was slowing it down and working out how I was doing this kind of thing, and it's a very fascinating thing. So I thought, um, in that video, he goes over it quite quickly. So I thought, in this video, I'll break down one of those little arpeggios that he plays in the video and show you how to do the technique. All right, so I've switched over to the guitar cam so you can see what's going on better. I uh, apologize for any um, interference that you're going to hear. This is from the single chord pickups with these lovely lights shining on them. So I'm just going to specifically teach you one of the arpeggios uh, from that video, and this is based around an E minor, e, e harmonic minor arpeggio, so like this. And this technique, selective picking, means pretty much that, it's selecting where you're picking. So for this arpeggio, it's doing a hammer on from nowhere, like this. So for example, I'm going to use my little finger. It's doing a hammer on and then two picks. And then he's coming down with two hammer, another hammer on from nowhere up here on the ninth fret on the D string. I'm doing my best to keep my fingers out of the way so you can see which frets I'm playing. But the tab's there for you. And then we come to the 12th fret, and then we're going to repeat this picking thing again. So we're going to hammer on from nowhere. So let's go through that slowly. So 12th fret on the G string. So you see the picking hand's not doing much at all, right? And like uh, Tosin said in that video, he does recommend having quite low action for this. And uh, this is a really good exercise definitely for improving your finger strength, I must say. And uh, the next part is we're coming back to this ninth fret here on the D string. And we're going hammering on from nowhere again. And then we're coming up to the 13th fret. And then hammering, uh, hammering on again. And then picking. this and then we come back to the ninth again and then we're coming back to the the start of the uh, the start of the bar again again no picking there just hammering on and then the whole thing repeats round again So all together, I'll play it very slowly for you. So starting from this 12th fret again on the G string. And the fingers in 7th fret, the way I've tabbed it out here, so it's a little tricky. And then obviously, once you're more comfortable with it, you can keep speeding up till you get it to that crazy sound the crazy level which Tosin can play it at, and then it sounds like you're picking loads of notes when you're actually just, yeah, this hand's like, it's having a day off really, just picking some notes here and there, which is, you know, absolutely named technique of selective picking. All right, so if you want to learn more of that arpeggio section, then please go over. I implore you to go to Tosin's website, and then you can find the tab actually there. Um, I've just taken a little bit up here, and it's obviously more correct the one that he's made as well. So uh, go and check that out, and um, yeah, this, uh, have fun trying this out. It's yeah, um, it's something, definitely a new way of playing for me. If you're interested in learning anything about math rock or anything like that, then I do have uh, an ebook that I made about math rock guitar techniques and some music theory as well for beginners there. And I'd like to say thank you to all of the patrons as usual for supporting this channel. It's seriously awesome. And I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.